Welcome to Origami Tutorials Part 2. In Part 2, I'll show you how to use origami with shape layers and some more advanced animation techniques. So let's begin. Create a new composition and create a shape layer. Just make a random shape. And the workflow is no different than using masks. So let's go to step 1. Select the mesh type. I'll use Voronoi. I really prefer it. Add 30 points inside the shape, and let's make shapes, not masks. And let's uncheck fragments to layers, because this will give us a very interesting effect. So now you can see we have exactly one layer with all of those shapes inside. And all those shapes are colored differently, which is very useful if you want to create a background like I did for this tutorial. Okay, let's go back. You may be asking why are they colored differently? Let's go into the settings. And here we have the shapes color section. In this section, you can set how to color your newly created shapes. You can choose original color, random color, or shades of original color. And there's a button labeled recolor. When you select your layer or layers, you can just press this button and it recolors. This is very useful if you want to create a color changing animation. Let's just duplicate the layer and recolor it. I'll set the length of the layers to about 5 frames and uh, right click and under keyframe assistant I'll choose sequence layers. And you may have already guessed we get this kind of animation very easily. Animation without having to animate. But uh, let's go back. Let's remove all the extra fragments. And now let's recolor them using random color. You can play with color variation for different results. You can increase it or decrease it. It's very useful for different shades, of course. You can use this to create very similar colors or very different colors. All right, let's delete this. Let's turn on our original layer and take a look at these two checkboxes. The first checkbox is self-explanatory, it will just remove the original layer. Let's click it, and let's also choose Precompose Fragments. This will create a composition with all of your newly created fragments. Let's go to the Advanced menu one more time, check on Fragments to Layers, and click Create Mesh. Alright, so as you can see, all these fragments are inside of a pre-composition. Animation with shape layers is similar to animation with masks, like I had shown in the first tutorial. Let's click Animate. And just like that, we have a new animation. I'll show you a very interesting technique right now. Let's create a new shape layer, a rectangle. When we break up the layer, we're going to use 30 points, that should be enough. Let's duplicate the layer, and then press Create Mesh. And let's do the same from the other shape layer. As you can see, we have two shape layer compositions. Let's go into this one. We'll go into Animate, set the direction to In, the effects to Scale, and press Animate. Alright, that's done. And when we play it back, you'll see that it grows from the center. Now let's go to the other composition, and choose the four corner fragments. Set the direction to out, and press animate again. As you can see, the layer disappears from the center to its borders. And for this other composition, the animation starts from the center and grows out to the borders. Now let's take our layer that animates in, and we're going to place it beneath the layer that animates out. So I'll just drag this to the bottom here. Let's shift the out layer in time a little bit, and we'll set the lower layer to have a track mat of alpha mat. So this creates the effect that the animation layer on the bottom is starting to melt. 
So that's pretty cool. So let's add a time remap and uh, see what we can do with these two layers. And what we can do here is we can overlap the animation from these two layers uh, like we did for the promo video for Origami. So what I want to show you next is how to add more fragments to our shape layer. So for this example, I'll use a star. And I'm going to give it 10 points. And I'll also increase the inner radius and then scale the whole thing down just a little bit. Okay, this is good. Let's create a Voronoi mesh. And uh, we'll choose 10 fragments. And press create mesh. And now let's animate this from the center by grabbing a shape near the center. And we're going to go to the animate menu and choose uh, rotate Z and opacity. Then press animate. So now I can select the center fragment and go to step one again. This time I'll set the mesh type to triangles. And I'm going to set the number of points to four. Also, let's make sure to uncheck precomposed fragments. And now Origami will add this pattern to the fragment and it will follow along with the animation. We can add square fragments here. And we can add some Voronoi fragments here. and they're all going to stick to the animation. And when you recalculate this animation, let's start from this layer. You'll see that the newly created fragments will be included in the animation. Let's see how it looks. Ah, it looks beautiful. So this covers the topic of working with shape layers and advanced animation.